Hello and welcome to Motor Portal. Now there's only one motorcycle brand in India whose social reputation is not all that good. It is praised by enthusiasts all over the world. I'm talking about KTM and today we have got this motorcycle, the KTM Duke 390, which has become more of a legend in the year 2023. Why you ask? Well, let's find that out. Like, share and subscribe. Link is in the description for the Instagram handle. And now, let's get racing. Okay, so the KDM Duke 390, this motorcycle is an absolute hooligan. The highlight here has always been the engine, but uh, let's keep it as usual and talk about the ergos of this motorcycle, the ergonomics. So, in terms of ergonomics, the KDM, in my opinion, is not all that comfortable. It is a bit too much uh, committed, in my opinion. So, you have got a single piece handlebar which is placed lower rear seat foot peg and uh, the seat height of 822 mm makes you sit in a ready to race type riding position which is actually quite good for aggressive riding but uh, daily commutes well that's not all that comfortable in my opinion if i talk about the handling of this motorcycle this motorcycle handles really nicely it is extremely sharp it just handles like a finely sharped blade no wonder it's called the scalpel because it acts like one too it's super smooth the directional changes are quick and due to the short wheelbase of this motorcycle it feels extremely agile now if i talk about the suspension setup of this motorcycle it is a bit stiff in my opinion and uh, up front it has got the 43 mm usds from wp at the back there's an adjustable monoshock both are actually a bit on the stiffer side but uh, that makes this motorcycle handle and corner as hard as possible and with a lot of confidence this motorcycle you know likes hard cornering now as i said this motorcycle's main highlight has always been the engine and it is really the case the engine here is extremely brilliant this uh, 373.5 cc single produces a very very healthy 43.5 bhp and 37 newton meters of torque and when you couple in the 171 kg weight of this motorcycle you get 0 to 100 in 5.6 seconds and a top speed of 165 kilometers per hour this thing is really very quick and it has got a ride by wire throttle which means that the throttle response all the time is extremely quick and crispy This engine has been mated to a six-speed gearbox, which is very slick shifting. The clutch on this is a slipper clutch and it is very smooth. It is almost butter smooth, the operation. So that's very good. It makes the overall riding experience brilliant. Moving on to the braking performance of this motorcycle. Well, unlike the older Duke 390, the BS3, BS4 versions, this motorcycle has got brilliant braking, in my opinion. Up front, it has got a 320mm rotor. At the back, there's a 240mm rotor, big disc and uh, brakes from Bybree. After it has also got centered Brembo brake pads, which means that the braking performance is crisp. You just pull the lever and it stops. Now back in 2013, when this motorcycle was launched, it was already loaded to the brim when it came to technology. It had a trellis frame, USB forks, a very, very loaded instrument console, modern engine, very, very modern engine actually. And even in the year 2023, this motorcycle is absolutely loaded to the brim when it comes to features and technology. It has got a bi-directional quick shifter, you know, switchable ABS. It has got this beautiful display. It has got slipper clutch. It is, you know, brilliant. It has got loads of features, which I will tell you in a bit, but uh, it is loaded. And that's a good one. Now, Duke 390 owners don't complain much about the motorcycle, but there are some issues with this motorcycle. And uh, one of them is overheating. Over the years, KTM has improved the heating on the uh, Duke series motorcycle or the RC series motorcycle, but it still overheats a bit too much for a single cylinder motorcycle because of the high compression ratio. And then there is the refinement levels. Well, KTM has worked a lot on the refinement, on improving the refinement levels of this motorcycle, but it is still not as good as the Japanese, you know, brands. So it is good but it's not the best in terms of refinement too so now let's do a quick acceleration test on the kdm duke 390 let's start it up mm -hmm. sounds good road is clear let's launch it whoop that was quick 
the quick shifter is not that smooth but uh, it works and it is there said that the riding position of the KTM Duke 390 is a bit too much committed and well that's the case as you can see the handlebar is placed lower the foot pegs are rear set and you sit in a proper ready to race type riding position well that's really good for track riding or aggressive riding but for daily comfortable riding this is not the app riding position so this right here is the motorcycle the KTM Duke 390 and it looks very good it looks menacing so let's start with the front fascia of this motorcycle so as you can see up front it has got big headlamp with KTM indicators this is the front fender these are the tires these are Mitzella M5 tires these are H rated proper sporty tires as you can see the profile is also quite good and the tire size is 110 70 17 so 17 inches at the front the size of the rotor is 320 mm brakes from Bybrae as you can see WP USD forks and uh, talking about the side profile of this motorcycle I just showed you that it looks menacing and uh, this is the trellis frame of this motorcycle split trellis frame and uh, the front is orange the rear portion is black and it looks quite good in this paint scheme this is the tank of this motorcycle it is finished in metal and this is a 13.5 liter tank tank shout of this motorcycle it looks quite good with a 390 sticker on it and a black decal with duke written on it so it is very good and uh, very nicely finished these are the crash guards of this motorcycle these are the foot pegs of this motorcycle which has got rubber pads on so as you can see and this is the gear lever of this motorcycle the quality is very good this is the split seat setup of this motorcycle with the KTM engraved on it and obviously Duke. So this is a stiff seat and it is not the most comfortable for pillion but it is quite good for the rider, it's decent. This is the rear profile of this motorcycle as you can see the tail lamp is quite common for the Duke series motorcycle. This is the indicators, this is the tyre, the Metzeler M5 and uh, the size of the rear tyre is 150, 60, 17 so quite wide tyre and it has also got these ratings on it it shows you you your lean so there's this and this is the knee track position and uh, this is the rear rotor of this motorcycle 240 mm rotor caliper from Bybri. this is the cast aluminium swing arm, swing arm of this motorcycle and it looks very good it's premium this is the end can of this motorcycle which is quite good and uh, common for the duke and uh, the older rc390 and it has also got a lot of you know loose wires on the uh, underside of the frame but that's how KTM works and this is the rear brake reservoir, the monoshock which is adjustable and this uh, tiny mud flap for protecting the underside of the motorcycle from mud so it is a very well thought motorcycle, it is very well sorted, it is basic and it's quick that's the motto and uh, there's not a lot of things to show you on this motorcycle so let's start with the instrument console of this motorcycle which is one of the main highlight of this motorcycle so let's turn it on yep ready to race and uh, this is the instrument console of this motorcycle so it looks very good the kill switch is currently turned on so it's showing kill switch you know warning on the top it also it, it also shows a service indicator and a low fuel warning this is the speedo this is the odo this is the abs um, you know it shows uh, on which mode the abs is currently on so it, the abs is in road mode this is the gear position indicator and the fuel gauge the temperature gauge the tachometer it revs up to 10,500 rpm on the sides there are the warning lights and this is the shift light of this motorcycle right here this is an extremely loaded display it also shows the time so let's uh, toggle through the information so as you can see it shows trip data ktm my ride applications you know uh, option it is it also shows the features of the motorcycle as you can see abs and uh, setting so you can set uh, bluetooth or display theme and the shift light clock date units metric or imperial language service and uh, extra functions so it is very very loaded this motorcycle you can also you know toggle uh, through the setting like uh, the quick shifter setting so here's the quick shifter setting it uh, comes when the kill switch is off so from here you can turn on and off the quick shifter so that's that and uh, it also shows the trip one trip one data it shows the trip time it shows the average fuel consumption 24 kilometers per liter the average is quite decent it returns from 25 to 28 kilometers per liter depending upon your riding style 
and uh, it shows the date the battery volt and the fuel range so it, it's currently low on fuel the attention to detail is also quite good it has got kta written on the handlebar this is a single piece handlebar this is the brace which is finished in black and it looks good this is the switch gear which is of quite good quality this is the high beam flasher this is the high beam low beam and the flasher this is the clutch lever which has got adjustability and the horn indicator the kill switch the starter button and even the grips have got ktm engraved on it these are quite good grip which looks good and it feels good while you are holding it now let's hear the exhaust note of the ktm loop 390 let's start it up So the exhaust mode is actually quite good. So now comes the conclusion part of this video. Should you buy the KTM Duke 390? And in my opinion, this is an absolutely legendary motorcycle. It is a complete hooligan and only 10 to 15% of the Duke 390s or RC 390s get proper owners which who are mature and experienced riders who use this motorcycle's potential to the last bit and uh, well that's what this motorcycle deserves but uh, a lot of people you know use this motorcycle for showing off and just uh, you know daily commutes if you want to buy a duke 390 well get it there is no denying the fact that that uh, this is an absolutely epic motorcycle but if you really want to buy a motorcycle for the sake of riding it and you know improving your skills with this motorcycle this is the best one to buy so this was my review of the KDM Duke 390, an absolutely epic mad of a motorcycle. Like, share and subscribe, link is in the description for the Instagram handle and as always ride safe and keep riding hard.